G'day guys, we've got something a little bit different here today, uh, outside of the normal MRE. Um, I haven't done anything freeze dried yet, and my daughter has been hassling me to do this one ever since it came in, seeing as it's official astronaut food. Now, I do realise that this isn't, uh, you know, your proper astronaut food that they would have had on the, uh, the ships. It's, uh, as far as I understand, something that you can kind of get at the Air and Space Museums over in the States. And, uh, you know, something cool to prepare for the kids when you get home. But uh, what we have is freeze-dried chicken and rice, peas, instant chocolate pudding. And it's apparently easy to prepare. Alright, so... Let's crack into our first freeze-dried food. Let's whip off the top, see what we have inside. All right. First cab off the rank is the freeze-dried peas. We've seen better days. <laughs> and this will be the chicken, chicken and rice. You can see the bits of chicken in there, the rice, and the powder that it's going to um, make up the uh, stew, thicken it up and give it the flavour. And we've got the chocolate pudding. Now, calorie wise this thing comes in at 450, it's pitched at a, being a single serving, but I'd never get away with eating this all to myself. My daughter would kill me. So I'm going to share. I think the first thing we need to do is empty the chicken and rice into a bowl. There we go. <laughs> Crunchy. Now in with the peas. Mmm. That'll be interesting. And finally the chocolate pudding. Yeah, it just looks like normal powdered pudding. That should be a favourite. Alright, we now need to mix in one and one eighth cups of boiling water. Give it a stir. Mmm, yep, can already smell it. Once it's stirred around, cover and leave for 10 minutes. Now our peas here are just going to need a quarter of a cup. Again, boiling water. <laughs> uh, smells like peas, but you know, when did plain peas ever smell any good, right? And they'll need about eight minutes. Finally, for the pudding, just a uh, half a cup of cold water. Give it a mix. And then this needs to sit in the fridge uh, for about five minutes. Okay, now the uh, chicken dinner and the peas have had enough time to do their thing. Time for the big reveal. Ta-da! Hmm, okay, smells all right. And the chicken dinner here is looking a bit, uh, a bit like a risotto, really. Um, I don't think it quite knows <laughs> what it wants to be. But it's, uh, it's thickened up nicely. On to the peas. They look okay. Nothing special, peas are peas. They're crying out for... Uh, 
probably some salt and some butter, I would say. And we get our chocolate pudding. It's nice and thick, it's been sitting in the fridge for a wee, wee while. And I'm sure it tastes great. So let's give it a try, guys. Try and find some of the elusive uh, chicken in here. <laughs> okay. Needle in a haystack. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yep, that was definitely chicken. It tastes alright. Um, I don't know what to compare it to. Uh, it's kind of like the rice equivalent to a packet of um, ramen noodles. Or two minute noodles. You know, it's got all that kind of um, chickeny stock flavour to it. The chicken reconstituted pretty good. Uh, the rice is nearly there. I wouldn't say perfect, but it's, yeah, it's still got a little bit of a bite to it. Let's try the peas. <laughs> oh man. Um, what do I say? Uh, diplomatic. They're peas. <laughs> but I think the whole idea here is probably to do this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the peas reconstituted the best. The best way to describe it would be that you're definitely aware that the pea has a shell. Um, yeah, you're sort of tasting that out of shell really more than anything else. We'll give it a mix. Let's try that again. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. That's not bad. You know, for freeze-dried food, what do you expect? Dessert? Chocolate pudding? Mmm. Uh, great palate cleanser after the peas. <laughs> now, if you want to know what the beef stew version of this meal tastes like, uh, head on over to G. Schultz's channel. Uh, he's... Uh, He's checked that one out before, and it's um, it's kind of a similar deal with the pudding, and the dehydrated vegetables, and then the actual dinner itself with the gravy. But yeah, I mean it is what it is, and it's intended to be, you know, something you take the kids to the space museum on the way out, pick up a pack. Uh, it's a bit of excitement, you know, when you get home. Um, ooh, we're having space dinner. Um, yeah, probably the similarities to this and what astronauts ate on the Apollo missions, etc. Gemini, um, is that it's freeze-dried. Uh, the whole method of reconstituting the items would have been different, and uh, yeah, there's, you know, it, it's it's a vague connection, but it's it's all about the kids at the end of the day. All right, let's see what uh, see what the boss thinks. We'll try some of the rice first. Going back from what do you think? Yummy. Yummy? More. Okay. More. More, more, more. Alright. Mm -hmm. Wanna have a little nibble on the pudding? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah? Awesome. Alright. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Huh? What the heck? <laughs>